All right, we are back in the Maker Lab at Micro Center, and we've made a Micro Mini Lab using the A1 Mini and the M4 Mac Mini, the all new M4 Mac Mini, and it is so cool. The price to performance ratio for this machine is amazing. And we put this whole package together for right around a thousand bucks. So for a thousand bucks, you can get an A1 Mini from Bamboo, which is an amazing printer for 200 bucks. You can get an M4 Mac Mini around 599, I think is what they normally go for. You can get this monitor and then add your own keyboard and mouse. We went with this Logitech Pebble 2 set. I really love the Pebble mice and the keyboard was kind of fun as well. And it fits so perfectly on this Ikea Scatus. So if you're looking for a small setup to get started or to expand your makerspace endeavors, we think this is it. There are a ton of files out on printables and maker world already for the Scatus and all sorts of accessories. But if you're just getting into 3D printing, what better a project than to do this kind of setup? You'll come up with all sorts of ideas very quickly on what sort of things you need to attach to your Scatus to make your mini makerspace work for you. If you like this kind of thing, make sure to keep following Micro Center for this type of content. We're gonna keep looking at different types of setups that might appeal to different groups. We think that you're gonna have a lot of fun with the A1 Mini and the Mac Mini M4. The cool thing about it is it takes up very little space and you can kind of clean it up after you're done. And honestly, it's also portable. All you need are two power outlets, one to power the Mini and one to power everything you see here on the IKEA Scatus. Um, the USB-C powered and data monitor is awesome for that. And it even has HDMI mini in. So if you wanted to hook up a Raspberry Pi or a Nintendo Switch or some other HDMI device, it has dual purpose for you there. So I was really excited when the new M4 Mac mini was announced and I knew right then and there I had to grab one. I didn't know why, but I had to get one. So I got one and I figured out it was a great machine to run maker apps such as slicers for 3D printing or the Xtool creative software for their lasers. But you can also do things very easily like Tinkercad, which is a web-based CAD program. So if you're just getting into this, it doesn't cost a lot to start making your own models or find some on printables and thingiverse. Now the Mac mini is a powerhouse for its size and price. And while you may say it's only got 256 gigabytes SSD, don't worry. Most of the stuff you're doing is in the cloud anymore anyways, and you can add on external NVMEs and SSDs easily with all of the ports that it comes with. Really, the size to performance ratio of this thing is insane. All right, so the performance to cost ratio of the Mac Mini is amazing. And if you're gonna make one of these mini labs for your dorm or for your apartment, or even a small desk in your house, you can't beat the M4. You're gonna be able to do all of that creative stuff beyond even just using maker tools. We think this is a lot of fun. We think you're gonna have a lot of fun. Get over to your local micro center, talk to our 3D printer champions, and they can get you all set up with this setup. We're really excited about this mini micro lab at Micro Center. So we'll see you next time in the Maker Lab.